if I'm changing the ADAS system, if I'm tuning the radar, if I'm changing something on braking, or when somebody reports a problem, what do you do? But that's where the digital feedback loop is really important to be able to innovate without impacting safety. So digital feedback loop allows OEMs to get insights from their customer fleet. And it also supports OEMs because usually right now they need to have a complex system of what functions, features they need to provide. Because after SOP, it's basically a set system. Now with OTA and that support through Wind River Studio, you can always enrich and provide additional features for customers. We know cars are not one size fit all. They've been used differently, they have slight variations, their environment is different. They can still be able to develop, test, certify, and then get deployed and push it out to each and every single one of the vehicle. Let it be outside or inside the cabin, whatever is happening, upload that to the cloud, and then use that data to gather new insights, to gather new information make adjustments and ultimately make decisions based on data, based on evidence. And use that to train our AI ML model to further improve on some of these software updates and be able to have a you know, continuous integration, continuous deployment pipeline through the DevOps platform.